Noticing it in the in the United States too. I'm I'm up here in Kingston, New York, and when I go out at night, the streets are dead. There's no nightlife anymore. I mean, I'm serious when I say that. The bars, the bars that used to be open to three or four o'clock in the morning, you know, the, a lot of them are gone, and young people aren't diners when we were young guys. They used to be open 24 hours a day, and now they're closing at 10. PM. I'm saying this because I think the damage that has been done in China is I'm listening to you, that the people have, you know, they've just changed their, their, their mentality and their feelings. And they're really down about this. I was down in New York City for, for and going 515, 515 at night, rush hour. Coming on, coming from here, going south. Getting off the get off the uh, West Side Drive for 57th Street, I, I look across and from 57th, 51st to 57th Street, going north, rush hour, not one car stopped in the middle for a red light. So what's going on here? You know, the media's not talking about this. The business news isn't talking about this. And what you just said in China, and it, well, here this is the front page of the New York Times, April 14th. China's zero COVID strategy shows perils of autocracy. So these people living under this autocratic regime, I don't think spending is going to come back. It's going to take a really long time. And part of it is because, you know, people spend when, for instance, their homes are worth a lot of money. What we're seeing in China right now is that property values are starting to come down. Um, but what's even worse is that there are really very few sales. And the reason is that the difference between what people are willing to buy and what they're willing to sell at is too large. The market is frozen. Um, we're looking at all sorts of metrics in terms of um, spending, and most of them are soft. Not all of them, but most of them are soft. And this is really before uh, COVID in this most recent wave with, you know, Jilin province, Shenzhen, now Shanghai. Uh, we're seeing a resurgence of this in Shenzhen again. Um, we're, Guangzhou, the capital of Guangdong province, is now in a semi-lockdown. So. Beijing right now doesn't have a defense to this disease. And until it does, you're not going to have a resumption of consumption. Uh, that's just, that's not a China phenomena. That's a phenomena we've seen around the world, including, as you just pointed out, very much so in our country. On the Ukraine front, there's a lot of criticism that China will not take a position on this. And yesterday, Janet Yellen, or, or Wednesday, Janet Yellen came out and called on China to help end the Russian conflict. And she warned that China will face a loss of standing in the world if they don't unite with the United States and NATO. And then I went to Global Times and um, their headline, that's of course the Chinese paper, no way Yellen can scare China into changing stance on Ukraine issues.